missing in the open. What do you think it means after today to, to be unburdened? To be unburdened, I would say that means to be at peace and at ease. Freedom from the expectations that come along with debt. The weight of specifically debt on your shoulders just to have relief and breaking away shackles little by little that's been holding me down. The best way to get ahead of debt is preventing it. So what are some <laughs> of the other ways that you all are avoiding debt now? Financial planner was my actual planner. Um, pen and like pad, a pen and yeah. paper yep. plan. Yes. So just being brutally honest with yourself, writing it down so you can visualize it. Check off, you know, hey, okay, I stopped spending $15 at the gas station for snacks, you know? Right, right. check it off and you can see your goal. If you, you look at your bank account, you may say mm -hmm. X, Y, Z is important, but actually mm -hmm. snacks from the gas station. It's important to audit your bank account yes. and look at what did I spend my money on this week and what is it that I'm saying that I value but how I'm spending my money. I only recently in the past few years got into credit cards, so I never got too deep in my credit card debt. So I slowly paid that off, started from the smallest one and start knocking those out. The snowball method. Yeah. Yeah, so. right from the snowball method. You start with the smallest balance and you pay that off and then move to the next smallest one, the next smallest one. It gives you gratification, you feel like you're actually making progress. You don't have to fix everything at one time. I take baby steps to getting back on track financially and then you'll start to see progress. Making sure to s stick to a budget and then luckily with something like earning, you do have kind of a safety net there in case that budget, I mean, things happen, things pop up. Coming from gig work, trying to get used to that two week period and paying everything oh, based off yeah. that timeline. I've used earning just to fill that gap. I'm not gonna go in debt since like I mentioned earlier, it's my own money, I'm just getting it earlier. I think we should all be able to access our pay whenever we want. Anytime I want to do something that's out of the ordinary, earning comes in handy then. So I can just stay on goal and on track for what I need to do. I know I use it to help me pay for my credit cards um, and like, you know, certain late fees, sometimes gas when I need it, I'm running low. That's also for my credit monitoring. One of the things that my younger self probably could have benefited from was the balance shield. And the automatic transfer when my balance is getting a little lower yes. so I didn't have to worry about those overdraft fees. Yes. Have you ever had to take your groceries back at the checkout lane because your card got declined? Yes. Yeah, that's not a good <laughs> yes. feeling by any means, right. but it was able to, you know, go to earn and get that pay. You know, immediately, wow. check out, and then you know, go on my way. No awkward phone calls, no awkward conversations. I like the fact that it allows you to, um, like, tip. I love that. that was, that's pretty cool. They're not asking for no membership fees. They're not asking for any interest fees, things like that. So it's like, why not give a little extra and keep earning going, and also to support somebody else who may be in a tough situation. Like, all right, if I pay this every month, within you know 18 months, it'll be gone. It's like, oh, 18 months is a long time. It's 18 months is gonna pass whether you do this or not. It's one of those things, not now doesn't mean not ever. Just because you're focused on this thing, you're not focused on your instant gratification right now, doesn't mean you won't ever get to a point of enjoying your money and enjoying your life and feeling free from debt. If I were to give my younger self financial advice, it would be to slow down, take a breath, read through what I was signing, understand it a little bit better. Does anyone have a mantra that they tell themselves? It kind of stuck with me that um, you can't crash in your own lane. So oh. you just have to focus on your journey. You don't look at you know, your friends out of town and your friend just purchased a new house. Just worry about your journey and it'll help you get there quicker. But I think we have to remember like one size doesn't fit all with this. Mm. Everyone's life's a little bit different. Circumstances are different. And I think we have to be aware of that. It's, yeah, just be kind to yourself not go going to the credit cards to purchase things, you know? Right. Having the mindset of holding myself accountable and saying, hey, if I don't have it, I just don't have it. That's a good moment for that me. That is very mm -hmm. much something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. I ask you what you would tell your younger self. What is something that you want to tell your future self? You did it. I've had my dog now for nine years. I, I want to get him a yard to run in. You know, that's kind of the, the next big goal I'd like to check off at some point. I think that's going to be a great moment. Oh, thank you. I meant to open the same. Okay. <laughs> I would say congratulations because I am manifesting success and a debt free and financial freedom journey. And it's one of my favorite colors. I would tell myself thank you for buckling down, getting through the struggle, you know, pat myself on the back. Wow. Okay. That my grandkids and my future children will be proud of me for setting the tone for our future 
and breaking those chains and generational curses that was passed down to myself. Hi, Cedric. We deeply appreciate you sharing your time, energy, and honesty with us today to take part in this important series on debt. So we'd like to give you $5,000. Oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> to help put a dent in yours and keep you on track towards your goals. We know you'll reach them, and then some are very best, Timur. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I'm an emotional being already. This is crazy. <laughs> is it real? I'm in shock, <laughs> for sure. And I'm shaking again. <laughs> And earlier today, I checked my credit and my credit went up 10 points. So it's just like, what is happening? I'm grateful, you know, for being honest, you know, and just putting myself out there. It's, this is amazing. What I would tell my future self is that it wasn't luck, the magic is you. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes when good things happen to us, we're like, oh, I was lucky. And it's like, nope, 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 you did it twice. Yeah. The magic is you. <laughs> like just having this conversation right now and realizing that I'm not alone, it just makes me feel better about myself. So something I used to fear has just turned to relief, I'd say, just talking about debt. I do think you can take something from each situation. I appreciate all of you for that, for Likewise. sure. I told you, you guys are gonna have to keep me updated on your, your journey. Definitely. Like, I tell all my coaching clients, like, once you work with me, you're a student for life. I feel like getting a tattoo, I'm burdened debt. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about four different stories that I wasn't aware of before I walked in here and learned how they all had some similarities despite their differences. But what was really the most impactful was seeing how they're using Earnin to help them achieve their goals and make their days and lives better. Unburdened. 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 Unburdened.